welcome to Game Tech UK. Uh, right, you're going to start seeing some more PlayStation VR content. And I love PlayStation VR, and I brought it as an investment for the channel because I love VR. You know, as you know, I've got the Oculus Rift, and I and I wanted to just I didn't want to be just a information source for one device. I was really attracted by the PlayStation VR, so. I don't know why uh, I haven't been doing much content on it. That's going to change uh, from now. So this is the start of a lot of content for the PlayStation VR. Uh, I'm going to get pretty much all the experiences and, and show them and share them with you. This one is called Alamet. Now you may recognize this if you are a, a subscriber. I've already um, demoed this and, and reviewed this for want of a better word. Uh, when I had it for the Oculus Rift, um, two reasons I want to try it again. One, it's on the PlayStation, uh, so I want to see what it's like on there. And two, I did it as a seated experience. Now, it says on the menu screen it's best um, best viewed walking around. So that's what I'm going to do, especially now I've got the room behind me. I didn't have the room before in the other office. That's why I was sitting down. Um, so, yeah, let's get in. Let's, let's have a look and, and see what this Alamet is all about. Right, well, what a great little story this was on the Oculus Rift. Uh, I tried it a few months ago, actually. I will put the link to that video in in this video. But one, I want to get back to, like I say in the intro, of doing more PlayStation. I'm going to start from the start, uh, the very start, do some free stuff like I did with the Oculus Rift. Um, and just to have a look, really, I don't want to do a comparison with the Oculus Rift version. But obviously, I'm going to be pointing out differences and things that I feel are different or better or worse. Um, so yeah, I have um, I have watched through this experience before. Fantastic little story, it really is. Quite sad in places. Like I say, the first time I watched this, I sat down and watched it. And, and that's one of the reasons for revisiting this, is I feel I missed out a little bit. Because you're meant to look around and, oh, well, it, it just looks lovely, doesn't it? Now, I know on the Oculus Rift one, this come out pretty dark. So if it is dark, I will cut past this bit or, or skim past this bit. See, now I can actually... Yeah, look, it's much better. I can actually look around. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> I did that the first time I watched it. I go to catch it, which is absolutely crazy. It's a lovely little story, though, and I love the art style. I really do. There's a certain pixelation as I move. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Uh, there's a pixelation if I move fast, and then I stop, and the, the, it goes back to lovely and crystal clear. Yeah, I definitely love being able to move around. Because like I say before, I was just standing completely still. Uh, sitting down, sorry, in one place. Now I can, now I can walk around. That looks really nice. And now we're having a flashback to one year ago. <laughs> Actually, already with some of the experiences, this, although it looks good and I love it, there's a certain basic look to it. Already in that small space of time since I've uh, watched this, things have already started moving on at a very fast rate. I love that. I love the way you can cheat and look inside there. I love that. I think the uh, section of it becomes clear anyway in a second, but you can actually, it's like it's going on already. Oh, there you go. It's cut out. Yeah. Yeah, if you watch on my channel, there's, um, there's a, again, it's a free experience. It's called um, Dear Angelica, and it is it is better than this. I was blown away by this, and the, this has got a lot of emotion in it, I must say, um, later on in the story. But Dear Angelica tops this for, for impressiveness and VR. But for those PlayStation 4 owners that are just getting into the, the, the VR, this is a lovely thing to put on for family to come around. Not everyone wants to do the Call of Duty experience or, or the Star Wars experience. Some people just want to go, what else does it do? And this is a brilliant thing for you to put on for your family to see. That was one of my main points when I tried it months and months ago on the Oculus Rift. This is brilliant for showing people. But I do love the PlayStation VR and the fact of um, what it plugs into your couple of hundred quid console, I think, it deserves brownie points so much. This is lovely. I love this. 
it's definitely lower resolution. I, I would say now, I've, I've watched it in the daytime, it is lower resolution than the Oculus Rift, but hey, it's only a standard experience. We're not really going to miss too much from it. We all know the PlayStation VR is fantastic. I'm going I'm to cheat again. I love the way it's still there. It's almost like glitching. It's still there. It's still... It's being rendered all the time, which is fantastic. Such a great way to experience a, a story. That's what I like about VR and the, and the things that they're trying to do like this. Really good. Yeah, it's not. It's not when I move. It's when it's when they move. If you watch when they move fast, it sort of it just glitches a little bit. It's a little bit of pixelation. It's like it hasn't been ported over to the PlayStation properly. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, because I've seen the PlayStation VR do better than this, way better. I mean, if you look at the Call of Duty experience, for example, you, you've got no pixelation on that. Yeah, I think there's a rendering issue. Um, maybe it didn't get ported over properly. It is a free experience, after all. Oh, tripping over on my own wire. Uh, it is a free experience, after all, so I suppose they're not going to put a huge amount of effort in. But I'm a little bit disappointed. Sorry, mate, I didn't catch it. Sorry, dude. Oh, wouldn't it be great? Oh, wouldn't it be great if you could use the controllers and actually pick them up and let them stand on your hand? That would be absolutely awesome. So she's saying, go on, go and give it to him. He's lost his bloody ha um, stick. Just don't strike it on the floor because it will explode. He's loving it, look. He's literally... Oh, he has got his eyes shut. Oh, we're back to we're back to the sad part. Oh god. <laughs> Poor little girl. Oh, she's absolutely gutted. <laughs> that looks good, I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat again, let's have a look. <laughs> Make sure nothing's there. Look at that. <laughs> Don't fall, bloody hell, I can't catch you. Well, seems quite a dangerous way to live, doesn't it? It's on fire. You, you need to get back here. Oh, God. Oh, God, you definitely need to get back here. It's on fire. Oh god, don't go in there. Oh no, you better get back here, love. Yeah, there's no smoke coming out the top, which would alarm her. So I don't know why they've taken that off. You're going in there after your kid, 100%. Anyone would. I'm frightened to put my head in there in case I get burnt. She's it. She's in there, look. Look, she's in there. Oh god, it's, it is a horrible little story actually, isn't it? That's dodgy, isn't it? Oh god, it's starting to fall down. Oh my god, we've got them as well, haven't we? Oh my god. Has no one noticed? <laughs> Hello! Oh no. It was horrible the first time I watched it. I was like, oh my god, what's going to happen? I'd already thought that she was going to burn alive. Oh no. 
Oh, it's sad, isn't it? If you haven't seen this, can you guess what's going to happen? Oh, no. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? She wants to save all them people. She's like, Mum, are you fucking joking? I thought they would have seen it by now, though. They could at least have a few people running for their lives. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, my God. Oh, can you imagine that? Oh, and that's what happened. That's why she's all there by herself. You can definitely see the PlayStation VR screen door effect. You know, you can see you can see the lenses, if you know what I mean. It, in the dark, it puts off the immersion a little bit, but during the day, you cannot see it at all. Poor little girl. It's nice being able to walk around. I, I like that. Now I've got this room as well, with more with more room. It's nice just to be able to do the experiences as they should be. I mean, look, there's a lot of detail in this experience, you know. A lot of detail. Oh, she's all by herself. Oh, there, is that him there? Much better being able to walk around and actually look. Never talk to strangers. Oh, it's the last one, isn't it? It's definitely a tracking problem. I don't know whether it's just this experience. If you stand still, it's almost like the, the scenery is just popping in and out a little bit, which is quite strange. I've got a feeling it's this experience. I just think generally it hasn't been reported very well to the PlayStation. But all, all in all, a lovely story, touching story. A good, it, 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 it's told in a good way with the VR. You saw the ship go right round me. A great little story that you're going to enjoy in your PlayStation VR. It's free on the store. doesn't cost you anything, so install it and give it a try. Uh, but as for this video, that's it, and I'll see you in the next video.